We are back with uh, uh, your favourite, uh, the cheapest libertarian in town, the, the political analyst that comes at a discount, the, the pep core of political analysts. It's Mping Marobe. Hey, Mping, I see you are still employed at this channel. I've tried to fire you, but apparently you've started a union of one. I'm unfireable, Chester. You yeah, I've seen trying. that. They're never yeah. going to get rid of me. Yeah, I don't know what that is. You're basically the, the Zuma of political analysts. Actually, What's... Chester, you should be very happy to see me. I brought you a gift today. I think you're yeah. going to be very excited. What? Mass I brought oil. you the Co words of wisdom for one of South Africa's powerhouse industrialists. What? Patrice Matsepe? No, no, no. Patrice. What? Ramaphosa. Psh, he's just a pop up billionaire. Definitely no, 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 not no, him. No, no, I'm talking about Johan Rupert. Oh, no, not that guy. He had no, an interview no, no, on TV the other day. I saw that rubbish. No, man. I saw that Everybody rubbish. was very excited about what we had to say. Let's look. Look. Let me show you. Let yeah. me show you. They were driven. They were driven, like, but they studied. They studied like crazy and saved like crazy. They didn't go and buy BMWs and hang around at Gabu and the Sands all the time. Okay. They had partnerships with blacks throughout Africa. My Black father, people, Jan. Sorry. I'm now with the snowflake generation. Sorry. <laughs> Black people. I hear this narrative that Badiba was a sellout. I mean, it's totally disrespectful. Your generation, I haven't seen leadership coming out. Remember, uh, I met I, Steve Biko I, when he was we, we in his 20s. There. Yeah. And he wouldn't have carried on in taboo. Holy cow! I can't handle this. Did you just see what that guy was like? I mean, that's insane. That, I, like, I who says the blacks? I'm, I'm kind of who surprised. Who says the blacks? That's, well, like, that's, like, that's like when you want to say the K-word and you well, just say the blacks instead. My grandfather says the blacks, so I don't yeah, know. But your grandfather's better. racist, clearly. <laughs> that's why you like you are. Anyway, shouldn't there be the more pertinent question, Chester Bees? How the hell does he know where Taboo and the Sands are? I was pretty the, blown away, yeah. Does Johan true. Rupert have a side check who takes him there? No, no, no. He's Johan Rupert. He owns Santon. His dad gave it to him for his 21st birthday. If Johan Rupert goes to Taboo, they're going to phone security because uh, Steve Biko wouldn't have, have carried on in Taboo. They, they don't know what... Yeah, what do they do? Johan Rupert's here! Run! <laughs> I don't know, Chester. I don't know how they would roll. That would be quite <laughs> rock and roll. If Jan Rupert was next to me in Taboo, I'd be like, wow, guy, you got swag. I, d I don't know how he knows. Look, look, I look. didn't know he knew Taboo exists. Next he's going to know. Why, next he's going to be doing Idi Bala and all sorts of... Guys, he was just him? trying to tell you not to waste your time, to be like him and how to become a billionaire. I'm sure he had more wisdom. wisdom. Come, let's look over there. A, a white? Yes. Monopoly? Show me a monopoly we've ever had. Just one, please. If somebody could show me one monopoly. I've tried my best, but I've failed. <laughs> Look at the monopolies in the country. Monopolies are called SAA, in Roots, ESCOM. Have a look at monopolies, and then they call me a monopolist. You must admit, look how big-hearted he is. He even... He even stocks MK uniforms at his stores. That's you see, no, he's that's for all of the people. Visa. You've forgotten who owns what. He oh, owns. Then I could just confuse yeah, you just my confused your billionaire? billionaire white guys. Sorry, that's sorry, how racist you are. I know. Listen, okay. I, I, I think that, you know, the problem is how do we, you know, you, when you, with, with, with what, what white people, the problem is liberal racism. I don't think he's, a, you know, a racist, but how do we, you know, the thing we say is blacks, you know, I, Surely that's an issue. No, how can it be an issue? He's an old Afrikaans man, Chester. What did you expect him to be like? That's just how he grew up. Now, come on, dude, saying the blacks. That's like, that's what white people say when they can't say the K-word. Look, Chester, I'm black. If somebody wants to call me the blacks, what am I going to do? But that do? would be ridiculous. Just You're just the one on guy. You're just one guy. What do you like, Cloudy, calling yourself? You're going to be so, and Peng says, no, it's you. <laughs> you there's one if of you. If it works for Cloudy, oh, no, why wouldn't it work for me, Chester? Because, oh, I can't. <laughs> listen, listen. <laughs> we, anyway, listen, Chester. Mm. You should listen to Johan Rupert. He's been very rich for a long time. He knows how business works. He knows where to invest money in the country. He could get this country going again if we only just listened to him and didn't demonize people like him.
Now, I'm not demonizing him. I respect his business acumen, even though he got it from his dad or whatever. But I expect this. But I mean, surely there needs to be some acknowledgement of the historical legacy of wealth amongst the very wealthy in South Africa. White people are six times more wealthy on average than black people. That's that's a little bit old, but it's 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 a it's you know we got to deal with the history of privilege, the apartheid legacy, without slamming people into a corner. Why can't you understand that you're a black like guy? You, like or you like told, a self-hating guy? Like he told you already, Chester. He's the, he's not a, he doesn't he's not even sure he's a white guy oh yet. Oh my god! Right? Oh my god. All he just had was the benefit of just a seventy-year non-compete non clause from black people in yeah, the country. Exactly. It's not a big deal. It is a big deal. It, because you see, if you if you don't ignore that, then we act like the reason black people are poor is because they're lazy or incompetent. It ignores the historical privilege. I mean, if you were held back off the field, I don't know how to explain this to this well, guy. Well, so listen, listen, Chester. Right. The it's ANC like you have been Steve running Hoffman this country. in your head. That's what it's like. You go the inside ANC your has head been running this country Hoffman. for 22 years, Chester. Right? It's yeah. not like I just there's some check. cabal it's of than old white men. It's 24, but that's fine. You, you, maths is not your thing. It's not like there's a cabal of old white men in Stellenbosch who ran the country. No, there is. I mean, do you there think is. that there's they were telling the group that what to do Steinhoff. all of this time? Are you not reading the newspaper? Right. So who was telling the group this what to do, Chester? Yeah, no, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. There is a situation where the Guptas have created their own capture, but we have to deal with the fact that in apartheid there was a system of capture that didn't really get constructed when we hit democracy, and you're in just denial about that because you work for those bastards. So, may, that may be so, Chester, but what have we been doing for these past 22 years? How can still in this day and age an old white man manages to touch us all on our studios? He didn't touch Surely us on our studios, he touched us on our Give him Kari. That was Mpeng Morobe. I don't know why he's here. If you know a good lawyer, I'm trying to get rid of him. Bye. We'll see you back after the break.